On the season debut of Terriers Take 5, it must be the holidays because everything is new. New show, new conference, new era, and what's that new facility on Babcock Street? The women's soccer team is in a new conference, but is winning the conference title a new thing? And the BU men's ice hockey team has a new face behind the bench. What's the first season been like for head coach David Quinn? Tis the season to be a Terrier sounds like a resolution you'll never have to change. Terriers Take 5 starts right now. Welcome everyone to Terriers Take 5, I'm Brian Moore. Our mission is simple on the show, the most in-depth coverage of BU Terrier news and doing it all in a span of just five minutes. So start the clock, here we go. We begin with the new look here on Babcock Street after a generous donation by New Balance and 30 years of a program steered by head coach Sally Starr, the women's field hockey team finally has a place to call home. Seeing that how their faces lit up when we first walked onto the field. It made me realize how lucky and how grateful that I should be. I had a lot of senior friends that they waited for this field too for four years and they didn't get the chance to be on it. No more red vans, no more homes away from home. After 13 years, the Boston University field hockey team finally has their own turf. It's really bringing the facilities together. Um, it really just makes the scene, and I'm just really proud to be out on there. I think it's really special just coming straight out from the locker room and going up and playing on our home field. I've seen a lot more fans come out. After a $3 million donation, New Balance Field opened this past August when the BU women's field hockey team, behind 33-year head coach Sally Starr, knocked off Ohio 5-1. to one. Not a day goes by that I do not appreciate having a field on campus. We will do our best to make you proud. We have so much more support than we normally would have, and it's just really nice. It's a really cohesive community, and it's really cool about that. While Nickerson Field has remained home for the women's soccer team, Nancy Feldman and the rest of the Terriers had their own change this season. After missing out on the NCAA tournament last year, being ineligible for the America East tournament, BU put its five straight conference crowns on the line in the Patriot League. And well, some history is meant to repeat itself. Well, it feels great. Uh, we um, missed out on an opportunity to play in a conference tournament last year because we were banned. And uh, it's just great to be back in an environment like this. After the official move into the Patriot League on July 1st, the Terriers were certainly hungry for postseason play. These seniors, they drove this and um, they were real disappointed last year. And, they came back this year and they had, uh, they were on a mission and they did the things that they needed to do to make it happen and they brought the rest of the team along. Shot, it did cross the line and BU takes the lead. Even a year off couldn't stop the Terriers, earning their sixth straight conference title and another trip to the NCAA tournament. I couldn't have done it without my team. They really defended so well, really made me not do much and when I had to, I did what I could. You know, they all did great, all the seniors. They're a great group of kids and I'm really happy for them that they're getting back to the NCAAs. A national ranking, a conference championship, an NCAA tournament win, and head coach Nancy Feldman being named Mid-Atlantic Coach of the Year, the new era of women's soccer picked up right where they left off. A new league, a new facility, and even a new coach to begin this season after Jack Parker was at the helm of the men's ice hockey team for 40 seasons, former BU captain and associate head coach David Quinn was sworn in as the 11th head coach back on March 26. Always a man on the move, I was able to stop Coach Quinn outside the locker room to talk about his first season. Coach, you took over the program on March 26. This program hadn't had a change of coaches in 40 years and then replacing Jack Parker. Was there any pressure for you filling in, you know, taking over that role that had been held for such a long time? You know, you would think so. And, you know, this profession brings enough pressure to it. And I know as a coach, I bring a lot of pressure to it. If I thought about who I was replacing and how long he had been here and all the success he's had, I'd drive myself crazy. As a player, you, you talk to players and they had that first defining moment where they can say they became a terrier. Have you had that as a coach yet? Um, I think the first time I stood behind the bench during the game, you know, when they announced you as a head coach, it really hit me then. But after that, it kind of, you know, you just get into coaching and doing your job. So that was probably the one moment that really uh, stands out to me. Red Hot Hockey Madison Square Garden. The day of the game, you guys were actually not at the morning skate, but instead went out to Harlem to participate in the Hockey in Harlem, giving out 
BU Apparel, skating with 30 kids as well as uh, having a chance to talk with them. Uh, what was that experience like for you and your players? Well, very rewarding. You know, when we were asked to do that over the summer, I went to the captains and I was uh, pleasantly surprised how quickly they agreed to do it. And then when we got there, I was just really proud of the way our guys handled it and how enthusiastic they were. Uh, they really and genuinely enjoyed it. They wanted to be out there, and it was a great experience for everybody. If you watch the Terriers, they have a blue puzzle piece on the patch of their jerseys representing Autism Speaks. Right. Uh, obviously, the Terriers took part in the Autism Speak walk here in Boston back in October. What does it mean to be continuing that tradition? Well, it's deep-rooted in our program. It's turned into the fact that our players love doing it. I mean, they really look forward to the events we do with the Autism Speaks program. It becomes more rewarding for you than it does for the people you're working with because I think uh, the level of satisfaction you feel and the fact that you can give back certainly goes a long way to our program and for our players. If you could sum up the beginning of the season thus far for you as a head coach in a couple of words, how would you do it? Uh, it's been fun. You know, it's a great group of kids. I, I love coming here every day because they're a good group to be with. You know, it's what BU hockey's been all about, and I, and I'm, I don't think I've been prouder of a team in a long time than I I, had, I was the night we beat Cornell 3-2 at Red Hot Hockey because we just willed our way to win. We were not going to be denied, and it was uh, a reflection of what Jack Kelly and Jack Parker have built this program to be. Coach, thanks so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Coach Quinn and the rest of the Terrier men's ice hockey team will take on the University of Maine down Commonwealth Avenue at Fenway Park on January 11th at 6.30 p.m. But that will do it for us here on Terriers Take 5. Stay tuned for updates on the show and all news BU through the athletics website at GoTerriers.com, which will also have something a little new for you in 2014. From the entire Terrier family, I'm Brian Moore saying happy holidays and let's go BU.